All right, I've got another derivative problem for you. So one of the things you got to remember with doing derivatives is that sometimes you it takes a little bit of work to get it ready to do the derivative. So what we're going to do here is we're going to clean things up a little bit just to make it easy to do the derivative. So we'll rewrite y as, okay, this is going to become 3 halves. And then we want to move it up to the top because we don't want this to be a fraction as we're doing this. So we're going to have 6 times x to the negative 3 halves plus we've got 1 over 8. We're going to move this x to the 4 to the numerator. So that's going to become x to the negative 4 minus 1 over 3, and again we're going to move this x to the numerator, so it becomes x to the negative 10. So with this all cleaned up, now we can go ahead and we can begin our derivative. So we've got our derivative, y equals, so we're going to take the derivative of 6x to the negative 3 halves, so that's going to become, we're going to have 6 times a negative 3 halves, we're going to minus 1 from our 3 halves, so that becomes x to the negative 5 halves, like that. And then we're going to do plus 1 over 8, and we're going to do the power rule here. So that's a negative 4 x to the negative 5 minus 1 third. Again, the power rule giving us a negative 10 out front times x to the negative 11. So now we're just going to multiply it out, and then after that we'll clean it up in the next step. So we've got y prime equals, we've got 6 times a negative 3 halves. That gives us, well that's negative 18 halves, so that becomes negative 9 x to the negative 5 halves plus, well, negative 4 over 8 becomes negative 1 half times x to the negative fifth minus, we've got negative 10 over 3 times x to the negative 11. Now, I did this in parentheses just so I didn't change this outside sign, but now that I'm going to clean it up, we'll, we'll fix that. And we'll move our negative, fra uh, negative exponents to the denominator. I mean, this could be good. If you just made that a negative and made that a positive, you would end up having a good enough answer. But a lot of times, your teachers or your professors will want you to clean it up and put it in simplest form. So that's what I'm going to do here. So we've got y prime equals negative 9 over x to the 5 halves. A negative sign and a positive sign gives you a negative. 1 over 2x to the 5th. And we got negative and negative, so this is going to be a positive. 10 over 3x to the 11. So that is the derivative of this. And like I said, it just takes some cleaning up before you can go ahead and start doing your derivative. And then after doing your derivative, it takes a little bit of cleaning up to get your final answer. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you if you've been struggling or looking for help. I'm assuming if you stumbled across this video, you're looking for help. So, hopefully this helped you. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.